The focus of this video is to talk about the negative exponents that we apply to fractions specifically. Um, I felt that fell through a gap a little bit in the last video. Uh, we have talked about it before, um, what to do, we've got negative exponents. Um, so what we've known before is that if you've got something like three to the power of negative two, the negative in the exponent um, leads us to conclude it's going to be one over three to the power of a positive two, okay, which we can then simplify to one over nine, but this is kind of the focus for me. So we, we did that um, investigation and it led us to the conclusion that, well, we can replace a negative with a one divided by or one over. That's a bit of a kind of shortcut way of thinking about it. We, we went through the investigation about how that comes based on the patterns, uh, but the negative is a one over. So the question then is how do we apply that to a question like this when we've got a fraction already in brackets um, and there is a negative exponent, okay? So the negative, right, so if it's five over nine with the negative two, now the negative we could think of it, this is why those shortcut thinkings are not always the best, um, we could say it's one over five over nine, which technically is right, but we then have to do something with that. Okay, so this would still be to the power of two, but we can't leave it like that. We can't have a fraction in a fraction. So um, the proper way to explain that is using our laws of fractions, which means if you divide a number by a fraction, so let's say I do three divided by um, one half, what we actually do is three times two over one. So we multiply by the reciprocal. So using that as an example, if I have this one, so let me just uh, delete that so it's out the way. So we're gonna use that that I've just said, we multiply it by the reciprocal. So one divided by five ninths squared well, we, instead of doing the division, we're going to do one multiplied by the reciprocal. So it's nine over five squared. And then one times that is just that. So what we end up with is up here, I can just write nine over five squared. So what now that looks like is that the negative is not just one over, but it looks like we've flipped this fraction upside down. So look at five ninths, it's now nine fifths. The negative is replaced by the reciprocal. So using that, when we come to this, to finish it off, so the negative makes it nine fifths to the power of positive two. And then using that rule we did before, the two gets applied. So it becomes 81 divided by 25 because it's 9 squared divided by 5 squared. So the negative makes the, gives us the reciprocal. Okay, So just to write that down, it's the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of a, flat, a fraction is the fraction where the numerator and the denominator have swapped around. So... Applying that here, look, well, we've only got a negative one, which is nice. Um, so the easiest way, again, is to just say, well, the negative here will flip the fraction upside down, find the reciprocal of it. So nice and simple, this becomes c cubed all over 2ab to the power of 4. We still have a positive one, but you know, hopefully, that if you've got a power of 1, then that's just it. So we can actually then not worry about the brackets and just write c cubed or 2ab to the power of 4. All right, 
Now, of course, if this was a different number, say a two, you'd have to have multiplied everything. So if I do the same problem, two AB to the power of four over C cubed, but this time it was a negative three, not a negative one. Well, we'd start by replacing the negative and finding the reciprocal. So that would be C cubed divided by 2AB to the power of 4, but we'd still have the positive 3 up there. So then we apply the 3 to the top. So 3 multiplied by 3 gives me C to the power of 9. And then this 3 gets applied to B. So B to the power of 4 times 3 is 12. But the 3 also, remember, gets applied to the other bits as well. So we get 2 cubed, which we can replace with 8. And then we've got A gets to the power of 3 as well. So that's the difference. If it's negative 1, we are just finding the reciprocal. If it's negative 3, we find the reciprocal and then apply the exponent.